everybody, I am back. Happy Tuesday. I was just talking about in Bath and Body Works that I just found out in Ohio that our retail is opening up on May 12th, and um, I do have mixed feelings about that. I talked a little bit about it in my Bath and Body Works video just now. It's, it's, it's hard, you know? I mean, we're all in a situation where we don't know exactly what's going on, and, um, you know, it's scary. You don't want to live your life in the house, but on the same time, you want to stay safe and not go out. So, I don't know. So, Pink Victoria's Secret. I've got my mist collection here I want to show you. I don't have that many. I've only got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I've only got 15. <laughs> and it's funny because I don't even use these, really. My daughter, my teenage daughter, loves the Pink Victoria's Secret line. And it's funny because I've asked a lot of her friends, and it seems like... A lot of the younger kids do gravitate towards the Pink Victoria's Secret lines. Um, and they do have some really good ones. So I just wanted to show you what I have here. Um, as far as Pink Victoria's Secret opening, um, that's a tough one. Because um, they do sell the mist and stuff. They don't really have hand soap and everything. I, I don't think I would actually go into a Victoria's Secret Pink at this point. Um, Bath and Body Works, I kind of debate on. Um... Maybe towards June I'll end up going in there. I don't know. We'll see. Don't know. Every day's a new day. <laughs> That's what I keep saying. <laughs> so, my collection here. I divided it between Pink and Victoria's Secret. And I will do the pink ones first. So, I did go a little crazy over Christmas. And I got a lot of the, um, the, the, the foodie scents. I think this was a really smart line they did. The Cookie, Spice, and Fireside Vibes. This one was pretty awesome, you guys. Um, where's the sprayer? I don't want to spray this on. I'm going to smell really good now. I, I really like this one. This definitely has like like a um, a cookie scent. I'm not sure about the Fireside Vibes. It definitely is cookie, though. I like that one. Um, I have Fresh and Clean Sundays. This one is... What is this one? I don't even know. There's no notes on this one, I don't think. Um... If it, pink does really odd notes. So there's not really scent notes. So it's either like a feeling or like a little bit of a scent. That's definitely, this one smells kind of suntan lotion. That does, that makes sense. It's definitely a suntan lotion set. Um, the Fresh and Clean Chilled. This one is the Iced Orchid and Winter Vacay. <laughs> This one smells kind of like a winter flower. A little bit sweet. I don't know. This one is not my favorite one. It's funny because I don't have a lot of the foodie scents in the sprays. Um, I got my daughter a lot of the um, the body lotions for Christmas. I do have um, Frosted Berries and Snow Days, the Merry Christmas. I wish I had gotten one of the, um, I don't think I have that one, the gingerbread one in the spray because that one was actually really cool in the lotion this one smells really good this is kind of a hyped up berry <laughs> that was christmas um i do have the tropic cool this is the uh fresh fig and pastel palms i like the packaging on these i think they're really pretty um they're such a different bottle style than the than the bath and body works i mean they're kind of a little bit shorter and wider this one smells really good, though. This one, I'm trying to think of a Bath & Body Works scent this reminds me of. This, I can definitely smell the, the fig going on in this one. This one's really nice, though. Um, the new collection, I did get Berry Pop. This is Fresh Strawberries and Fizzy Sips. Oh, my gosh. So, if you guys like fresh strawberry and not strawberry, like, foodie, this is definitely the one for you. This one is super tart. It kind of reminds you of like a strawberry candy. Um, so if you're more into like the fresh fruit tartness instead of like the pound cake one, I would definitely um, try this one if you like the strawberries. That one is awesome. It's different than wild strawberry. It's definitely more like tart. Um, I also got the Sweet Squeeze, which is the Juicy Clementine and Zesty Vibes. This one is... That one's nice. This is definitely like an orangey scent. And then I also have the Sunset Sorbet, which is Ice Papaya and Glitter Waves. 
like I said, for some reason, my daughter just loves the pink sprays. And I'm kind of, um, I'm a Bath and Body Works girl. This is coconut. It says it's iced papaya, but I swear there's a coconut in here. I like the lids, too. Check that out. Um, so then I have a small Victoria's Secret collection here. I usually buy these on sale. Um, you know me, I'm a Bath and Body Works girl through and through, but I do try other brands. I try the Body Shop occasionally, but I, I definitely gravitate towards Back to Bath and Body Works. But check it out. I did get this one. This is Cherry Pop. Holy cow, I love this one. This is the Wild Cherries and Live Music. <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> This one's nice. This is definitely more on the, um, like a black cherry Merlot line. Um, it's kind of a deeper cherry. I like this one though. This one is Wild Cherries, Hot Petals, and Live Music, it says on the back, which is really funny. I'm glad I picked one of those up. I wish I hit the banana one in the spray. Like I said, I'll do my... Um, Victoria's Secret creams at some point. I did get the Santor Santorini Neroli water. This was the new collection. I picked up the whole thing. Um, this one was, do they have notes on here? Neroli water, butterfly lily, and cobalt Santorini seas. I can't remember what this one is. I'm going to smell really good today. This is super sweet, you guys. This definitely reminds me of like, like a like a sea breeze. It's kind of fresh. It's kind of linen and it's got like a sweet scent in it. So this one is pretty nice. I like the colors on these. These are really pretty. And then I had gotten the San Tropez Beach Orchid, which is Beach Orchid, Coral Honeysuckle, and San Tropez Sorbet. No, that's Sorbet. It's Soleil. <laughs> what happens if you don't have your bifocals? <laughs> I can't wear bifocals. I, the floor looks like it's moving and then I get like motion sickness so I just take my glasses off that smells really good this is a little bit more of a I kind of smell that orchid but it's not florally I swear what is wrong with me you guys I'm starting to like florals now <laughs> the world is tipped on its axis body likes florals <laughs> capri lemon leaves is next this one is the lemon leaves sea spray accord and citrus coast of capri um this is like their, their new travel collection or something I don't like this one as much. This is supposed to be lemon. I, I think this, this is, I don't like this one. That's a little like planty. Um, and then the final one is the coconut palm, which is the um, coconut nectar and fresh pineapple. And it's funny because a lot of people have been asking me, what is this like compared to the Bath and Body Works coconut pineapple? I like the Bath and Body Works one better, of course. I think it's more fresh. Um, this one isn't bad, but it does, it lacks that freshness. I smell the pineapple, but it doesn't smell as fresh to me as Bath and Body Works. And I swear there's like a little bit of a musky type of scent in here um, that kind of like mixes with the coconut and pineapple. And maybe I'm just biased towards Bath and Body Works, but I prefer the Bath and Body Works one. But this was not a bad dupe. I would say that this is very close to the coconut pineapple. And who knows, maybe it's mental. I just prefer the Bath and Body Works one. I also have the Sugar High. Oh my gosh, I love this collection, you guys. This is one of my daughter's favorites. Um, this is the uh, Nectar Pop Rock Candy and the Sweet Life. Oh my gosh. Um, I love the packaging on this one. These are just awesome. Oh gosh, that smells so good. It does smell like sugar. I mean, it's, it's just a really fun... Um, packaging, fun line. I wish I could find some more of those. Like I said, I do have a lot more of the body lotions. Um, I just started buying a little bit more of the sprays for her for Christmas and everything. Then we have the passion flowers. Look how pretty this bottle is. I'll have to say, they definitely get an A plus in the, in the bottle. This one is gorgeous. I don't think there's any, like, distinguishing notes on it. Oh, by the right at the bottom, look at you. <laughs> it's Vibrant Bouquet, Peony Breeze, and Untamed Fields. Peony. Everyone's doing peony this year, I swear. That's like the 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 flower of the year. It's a floral. That's actually kind of nice, too, though. I'm, I'm kind of mixing all these scents up, I swear. I'm getting, like, everything. That would smell really good. So, anyway, got it in my hair a little bit there. So... Overall, I do like the Victoria's Secret pink line. I usually try and wait till they're on sale for, you know, I, I don't know why, you know, but I'll pay, pay a lot for Bath and Body Works, but, I, but for some reason I was like, oh, you know, 
pigs having a sale, they'll do their semi-annual stuff, I'll, I'll try and grab a whole bunch of these up. But I definitely like them. This is a great collection. Um, I don't have a huge collection. I'd like to add some to this. So let me know your favorites. And um, I will see you guys really soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.